Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. So, check out what we're doing today. I got myself a thermostat, part number 15187DLG. I got myself the thermostat gasket, 35480 is the part number. This is AutoZone parts right there. I got myself a bleeder kit, 17 bucks online. I got some coolant. Picked this up at the gas station a few minutes ago and then I got this a few days ago some water water run up to 20 degrees cooler so we're gonna go ahead and try this stuff out and if you guys know about three years ago when this engine was running NA I did not have a, a thermostat in there I was running it without a thermostat but we're gonna go ahead stick a thermostat in there and and we're gonna try to save as much coolant as we can we're gonna dump it into this jug right here that's empty and yeah i'll catch you guys in a minute i'm gonna throw you in a quick little time lapse come on i just broke a bolt it looks like it's my grounding bolt. So that means my grounds are on the wrong bolt, on the bolt that goes all the way through onto the housing. I thought I was gonna have to go to the junker to get this whole housing. But as you guys can see, this, this sensor right here, um, the little cap is also broken a little bit right here. But either way, it's the bolt that goes right underneath that. I think that's my ground bolt. And the whole head is ripped right off like nothing. I hate when you start working on something and then it turns into something else. See, it's such a pain. Something always has to happen. That's why when I work on cars, I try to do it when I know that I'm going to have time and I'm going to have another car that's available to drive around if I need parts or whatever. And always I like to start nice and early because you never know what you're going to find. But either way, it looks like this is my ground bolt. So that means that, like I said, I put those grounds in the wrong bolt which i guess is a bad thing but it's a good thing because now i don't have to go to the junkyard Whew, that's a relief the bolts are off and i did leave the gasket in there but no thermostat just the gasket by itself and let me show you the bolt that that broke it's actually right there that top one right there man it was such a bad feeling when that bolt broke right off and that head broke off it was the worst feeling ever but to later find out that that was just a ground bolt such a relief either way i'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and if you guys can see let me zoom in real quick this gasket has like two little dots right here and then it's got like a little indentation right here that goes up just like that just how I took it off that's how the new one has to go in I'm gonna go ahead and get some napkins wipe everything really good and install my new one in there so here's the new gasket it's very nice so here's the new thermostat with 
the new gasket we're gonna go ahead and slip this gasket right onto the thermostat and how we're gonna install this is you guys see this little nipple that's right in there right here I believe that little piece is gonna sit right on top right here so right where that little indentation is I'm gonna go ahead and slip it real quick and I'll show you so I went ahead and I slipped the little gasket on there but for some reason it looks kind of weird to me it looks like almost like if this didn't belong there so you guys can see you guys see the little nipple down there like it seems like that should have been somewhere up here not down there where it's at kind of weird but whatever let's just send it and see what happens I'm putting everything back together right now. I didn't use any RTV or any of that stuff because it's not required. It's not needed. That's what that gasket is for that we put in between the, the thermostat. Everything's back together, so I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some coolant in there. Or actually, I'm gonna add this thing first. And let's go ahead and use this so we could try this out. So I got that piece on there. I don't know if it could be trusted or not. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit of regular antifreeze in there and see if it leaks out or anything. All right, let's go ahead and release this and see if we get any leaks. Oh yeah, we got some leaks. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to seal this up a little bit better. Okay, so I went ahead and I swapped that out, and I am ready. I'm gonna go ahead, turn on the car, and start pouring the fluids in. I'm also gonna go ahead and set the car down. It's up in the air. And turn on the heater.
think that might be from that other liquid, the pink stuff that I poured in there. I'm not sure. But it doesn't look like there's any like like chunks of like oil or anything like coming up like that. That's kind of like what I thought at first. That maybe I was getting like some kind of oil. But there's no oil in there, so I'm thinking it's just this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm actually gonna pour a little bit of this stuff into like a separate container and then I'm gonna pour a little bit of this to see what the reaction is. See how bright green that is? Compared to this over here. seriously had me worried again for a little bit right here but check this out the coolant on that cap is without anything that's straight up coolant out of the jug now look at the coolant in here this is mixed mixed with a few little drops of this and it turned it a little bit darker this over here it's almost like you can see that it's got a little bit of pink in the middle but it's not oil I'm guessing it's just this stuff that's getting mixed in there but a huge difference One last test. Let's go ahead and examine the old coolant that came out of uh, the system. Yeah, this coolant is really nice and green. So it definitely has to be, it has to be the, the bottle that I put in there. Like, it's not as bright green. Let's go over here by the sunlight. No, it is pretty bright. And let's grab the other coolant. That's in the funnel over here. Yeah, that has to be that pink stuff that I put in there. But you could definitely see like little dirt particles like it's not oil but it's like little dirt yeah so that's kind of a relief because i honestly thought that something was wrong and that maybe i had like oil going through one of the passages or something was going on but it's obviously this this pink stuff either way the car's back down. Um, I've let the system for almost an hour, 45 to 50 minutes. The car was on, just burping away. And yeah, we're one step closer once again. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you smash that like button. Big things are happening to this channel pretty soon. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my mess. And I will catch you guys on my next one. Peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later.